Over the past two years, we've seen the highest inflation of my lifetime, driving up costs for American families across the board. According to the U.S. Department of Labor, the annual inflation rate in 2021 was 7%. And in 2022, it was 6.5%. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the cost of food went up 10% in 2022. And the real effects of that is moms and dads across this nation that are working to put food on the table for their kids, for their babies, had a harder time doing that. This has devastated hardworking Americans, causing a kitchen table crisis in every corner of our country, as the price of food, energy, and housing have all skyrocketed. In response, the Federal Reserve has raised the Federal Reserve fund rate more than four percentage points. Being far from transient, inflation has remained persistent, high, and well above the Fed's long-run goal of remaining under 2%. In the coming year. What factors and indicators are you paying attention to as you and the Federal Open Market Committee decide on whether to increase rates? So um, I'd say a couple of things to that. Uh, first, uh, we're looking, we're going to be looking at inflation in the three sectors that I mentioned, the goods sector, the housing sector, and then the broader service sector. And we need the, the, the inflation that's already underway in the goods sector to continue and uh, that's really important. In, in, the, in the housing sector, we just need the time to pass so that that reported inflation comes down. And it's effectively in the pipeline as long as, as long as new leases are being signed at relatively small increases. So we'll be watching very, very carefully, though, at, at the larger service sector, which is 56 percent of, of consumer spending and more than that of, what, of what's currently inflation. So that's one thing we'll be, we'll be watching that very carefully. Also, we raised rates very quickly last year, and we know that monetary policy, tightening policy, has delayed effects. It takes a while for the full effects to be seen in economic activity and inflation. So we're, we're watching carefully to see those effects come in, uh, into play. So we're, and we're, we're aware that we haven't seen the full effects yet, and we're taking that into account as we, as we think about rate hikes.